What's up, people? Back for some more work on the Guide to Beyond Earth, or at least the first chapter of it. We are playing as Franco Iberia, and if you haven't seen the first video, you can go watch it. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. It just covers basically setting up your game, what race you should play, and what this entire mess of a heads-up display is, and what it means. So now, if you have seen that, or if you haven't, we are going to start our game. I'm going to try to keep each video within 15 to 20 minutes just for convenience sake and I'm going to cover as much as I can. The game is set to quick so we will be covering shit pretty fast. So turn one, we're on our worker right now which is going to build us improvements. Wants us to construct a mine. We have Chitin over here. I'm actually going to go to the Chitin first and I'm going to get my food set up. If I can, what is it? Construct a paddock. Actually no, that just gives us production but I want to get this food tile improved so that the city, the city will only grow if we use food tiles because that's what allows the city to grow. So if we improve that, because that's the one that's going to be using the most, then we get a little extra production to build our buildings and units faster. Then we have our explorer, who we're just going to kind of use to go scout out the area. Um, he, it's, it's just a scout if you played Civ 5 or Civ 4. If you're new to the Civ game franchise, it's just basically it's got two moves on the hex grid, and it's not bogged down by terrain like normal units. You can travel over hills and rivers and everything without a penalty. It is fairly weak and it only ha and it has one what's called an expedition module which we'll get into a little later. Um, before we end our first turn we do have to pick a production for our city. I'm going to have it build the old earth relic because I want to get culture going as soon as possible so we can start collecting virtues and so we can also get our borders growing and spread across this godforsaken planet like the plague. Then we're going to pick our tech. If you're not new to the Civ franchise, this is rather new. The tech web as opposed to a tech tree. Um, <clears throat> obviously it branches out. It's pretty self-explanatory. You pick a tech and then you, unlocking that tech unlocks farther down techs and then each overlying tech has tech branches under it which uh obviously further your knowledge in that area. So if I were to get genetics, it would unlock alien life forms and genetic mapping. For subclasses, it would also unlock the ones around it. So most of the time you end up getting all these first ones anyway. It's just a matter of what you need the most in the moment. And for now, I don't really need to settle anything, which is what pioneering is mostly for. <clears throat> but uh, could go for that physics. Um, I forget what I went for the first time I played. I think it might have been that. It, it was pioneering the first time I played, actually. I know that for a fact. Um, I'm actually going to go for ecology first, I think. Just because I want to be able to get this ultrasonic fence up and stop aliens from getting inside real quick. I already have a <clears throat> Excuse me. I already have a basic idea of what my game plan for this game is. So the ultrasonic fence will help us keep out some of those nasty aliens, especially ones like the siege worm. Which, I don't know how many of you have played this yet, but the siege worms are a bit of a bitch to kill. <clears throat> so we're going to move right along here. As with any Civ game, when you're scouting the area around your... Or when you're scouting for the first couple turns, you really want to make sure you hit all the areas around your base, not just kind of go in a direction. And I'll explain why in a sec, but we just got our first uh, customer, Hugh Hugh, the Slavic Federation. I don't need to contact, I know how to contact other colonies. Uh, oh, I'll mention this now, the graphics are set on minimum right now. I forgot to change them before uploading this game, so I will change them before the next video as long as I remember to do so. Um, unit needs orders, we'll continue moving our explore realm. But as I was saying, what was I saying? <clears throat> oh shit. It'll come back to me, don't worry about it. Um, oh yeah, so the reason you want to explore all around is because it gives you a better idea of what's in the immediate area, whether it's alien nests or resource pods like we just found, and it also gives us a good idea of where we should settle next. If Obviously you want to keep your second out settlement, city, outpost, whatever, you want to keep it near your first one, so to explore the entire area around your map is a very good, or around your city is a very good idea, so you have the broadest selection. So we did just find a resource pod. These are the ancient ruins from Civ 5. You just run your unit over them and you get a bonus of some sort. 
Our worker has finished there, so we're going to pull him over to this other resource and work on that. And meanwhile, we're going to see what we get from this resource pod. <clears throat> we got 40 energy, and it looks like we got a quest updated. Now, I didn't explain this much in the first video. Quests are just things that come up to kind of give you guidelines along the paths, path you should take. Usually the picture gives you an idea of what type of reward you'll get. So this is our first quest. Our sponsor has the foresight to send resource pods ahead of our expedition to be waiting when we arrived. Parts of large research, blah, 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 blah. So this is basically telling us that we should try to find resource pods, and if we find enough of them, we'll get a little bonus for completing the quest. Um, <clears throat> we got 40 energy, which is essentially money, so we can buy stuff with them as we get going. We are going to... I thought there was a resource here. Maybe there wasn't. But I know there are some up here that I should go get. Like this fiber. Yorks. <clears throat> I don't know what it's talking about. I don't... Oh, okay. I know what it's talking about. Well, I'm going to go down here. Just to explore it. This may be helpful. We did find some aliens. Now, I don't know where their nest is. But usually... Aliens can be aggressive, but if you're not near their nest, they usually aren't unless you provoke them constantly. So hopefully they won't go and try to rape my explorer over here. Um, we need to pick a new production because we finished what we were searching before. I'm going to probably grab a soldier just for a little defense in case the aliens get close. And then we're going to develop a virtue. Now, virtues, if you played Civ Five, these are essentially social policies. If you didn't, they basically give you a bonus based on certain aspects of your game. Might focuses on combat, prosperity focuses on growth, knowledge focuses on a lot of culture and science, and industry focuses a lot on production. Now, unlike Civ Five, I will say that you do, you know, in Civ Five it was all about focusing in certain areas. In this game, you get benefits for focusing, but you also get benefits for spreading out. So you can see along the left and along the top, there's these markers, and they give you an idea. They'll actually, if you hold your cursor over them, they tell you what bonuses you'll get for getting a bunch of certain things. So under each of these four main categories, there's three, there's three prizes, and these are called synergy bonuses. So you get, you get a prize at 5, 10, and 15, and that means that if you get 5, <clears throat> excuse me, if you get 5 perks in one tree, 10 perks in one tree, and 15 perks in one tree, you'll get a bonus at every 5 mark, and you can hover over each one to see what you get. So the first synergy bonus for getting 5 in prosperity is 10% growth in every city, and it changes as you go. There's also along the side here, Tier 1 virtues, tier 2 virtues, and tier 3 virtues. And if you spread out your points along a tier, you'll actually get synergy bonuses that way as well. So like if you get 5 tier 1 virtues, you will get a free virtue. And then 10 tier 1 virtues, which is like this first row, you'll get 10 production in the capital and 10 energy in the capital, or percent increase. So there is a bonus to spreading out as there is for going straight down. So for me, I'm probably going to focus down on the science and culture since I did pick Franco-Liberia. Um, sorry if this is a little detailed. I'm trying to make it as basic as possible for the new people. This game did just come out today, this morning. <clears throat> so, as we get going, I will start making more advanced videos as long as you give me this an idea of what helpful. I need to make them on. We already know what health is. I've explained that. Um... All right, so I'm going to have them build a plantation here to get more food. And down here, we do have an expedition. And there's the alien nest. So we're not too close to the nest, but we are within two tiles. They might attack us. So I guess we'll see what happens, but I want to get to this expedition. But we have a quest decision, <clears throat> which is essentially... Quest decisions, you make decisions for your quests. As you can, this emblem basically means that your decision is going to affect your affinity points up here. So this quest decision, when we came to this planet, we brought a number of plants from old earth. Somehow one of the plants has taken root outside of our city and turned invasive. If left unchecked, it could convert the local environment to a more earth-like ecosystem. Whether or not that is a good thing must be decided. So you can either 
maintain the outbreak, which will point you towards the harmony direction, or you can ignore it and let it grow, which will point you towards purity or supremacy. I am going to play this game for a harmony affinity like I did my first game, so we're going to contain the outbreak and try to kind of keep the ecosystem of the planet as it stands now. <clears throat> um, like I was saying before, though, hopefully they won't attack us before we get to that excavation site. Oh, I don't think we're going to be that lucky. Well, they did attack us and they did kill our explorer. Which kind of sucks. That means we're not going to be able to get into the expedition site right away. But that's okay in the end, I guess. At least we know it's there. We developed a new virtue. Earn 20 science from finishing expeditions. Each city generates extra culture. I think we'll grab this one because that'll help us get virtues faster. <clears throat> first few turns, as with any Civ game, are kind of slow. I might send this soldier down to clear out that alien nest. You want to be careful. This isn't like Civ 5 where they're always aggressive. They, they are much more complex in this game. So I only, especially where I'm playing Harmony and I'm trying to kind of get along with the aliens, I need to be careful who I kill and why I kill them. But we're going to grab another explorer to go down and grab that expedition site, I think. And there's also another one up in this area I saw. But for now, our soldiers will need experience. <clears throat> so it's a good idea to get moving. In case you don't know, I'm going to try to avoid it just because I know. But this green shit is called Miasma. And until later in the game, it's rather deadly to be around it. So I'd recommend staying out of it at all times. Uh, I'm just going to grab this quick science bonus. And then I'll probably spread out among the other trees to get the first tier 1 bonus or so. We're going to continue moving in towards this alien nest to wipe it out. <clears throat> I don't... I really want that excavation site, and with these guys here, I'm not going to be able to get it. Our engineering groups have discovered... So we did get ecology, so now we can build the ultrasonic fence, which is the main reason I did it, but we also can build a vivarium and a miasmic repulsor, which I'll talk about when I need them. Right now, I did just build the explorer... We already have a worker. I think I'm going to grab a, a clinic first, then maybe I'll go for the ultrasonic fence. The clinic gives us science and health, which are two of the biggest things we need. So now we're going to move in here, and we're going to essentially wage war on these aliens. Now that we've become the aggressors, they will their AI is programmed to respond to a threat. And we did get our explorer, and there is an excavation site right up here. However, it is in Miasma, which kind of sucks. So the miasma will weaken our unit, but we can work around it. All right, so we got ecology, um, which unlocked geophysics and alien biology, and then a couple other branched out ones. But I want to I want to get the first few done. You should really grab these first five first, and then kind of work on expanding. I'm going to grab pioneering, so that I can settle a new city. Obviously, my te since my game's on quick, my technologies get researched faster than most people's will be. I can do it later on. I can do a different game where it's a little slower, maybe. But right now, I want to kind of not take a ton of time in turns. Obviously, as you can see here, there's a shitload of aliens just waiting to jump on us. We did get a promotion though, which is either to gain 10 strength and range strength in combat, or get a boost to our power. I think I'm actually going to take the combat strength and then get out of here. I could have healed him for 50 health, but I don't want to waste the promotion. So this is an excavation site, or expedition. Every explorer has a certain number of expedition modules, which can be increased as the game goes on. You only get one for your explorer, and you just use them. It takes about 10 turns, and when you finish, you get a nice hefty bonus for doing so. So we're going to pull this guy back toward our city. They shouldn't follow too far. Our quest's updated, and now we got to make a decision, okay. Choose a station to charter. Um, so, this is actually a very basic quest, this happens in everyone's game. Stations are the equivalent of Civ 5 city-states, or they're basically little civs. They're like little mini one-city civs. So this one's letting us pick which one we want to settle near us. I'm going to pick the science one, and they should pop around right near us. 
you have discovered as you can see they pop down right there near the alien nest roots with and they're going to be useful based. because we can conduct trade missions with them which will allow us to essentially get a lot more science and stuff going but as you can see here we got another person dropping down citadella that's the brazilian civilization <clears throat> all right uh i'm gonna have my soldier heal up here <clears throat> And then we have another quest decision, apparently. Um, oh yeah, okay, I did this quest once. So, we built our old relic. Essentially what they're asking is, you can read through it when you get it. It's not that important, but the decision comes down to, do I want more money or do I want extra culture? All relics are free of maintenance and culture. I almost always pick culture. Money's easier to get than culture is. So, it depends on the situation you're in though. We are coming close to the time limit here. <clears throat> I don't really want to go past 20 minutes with these videos. We did get another drop. It is Mandira. That is the Kavithan Protectorate. We finished this plantation. We're going to come over to this fiber and do another one. Luckily, our city does have a massive amount of resources near it, so that's doing good. All right, we finished that. So now we're going to build our ultrasonic fence which is just essentially, it makes it so the aliens can't come within two tiles of our city, which is really convenient. Your explorer has discovered... We finished the expedition up top, which gave us 80 production, which almost, which finished our ultrasonic fence immediately, which is really nice, actually. So as you can see, those are worth it. <clears throat> Other little note you should add, if you bring your scout back to your capital, you will get another expedition module. Um so that you can go do more expeditions like the ones down here. But we did finish the ultrasonic fence because of that expedition. So now we are going to... We'll build a vivarium to get our city growing a little faster with food, and then we get another virtue. I'm going to grab the growth one, just because I already know that the second one you can get a free worker, which can come in handy, not wasting time with the production. Um, we're at the 17 minute mark here. The universe is either in progress or <clears throat> All right, entropy. we got pioneering, which is Eat basically the biggest, well, really big technology because it lets us build trade routes with other col with other cities, and we can now settle new cities. So um, we're gonna have our explorer heal up in our territory, and then we're gonna choose a new research. Um, so we got pioneering. I would go for alien biology, but I want to get some of these other ones done. Two. Reveals titanium. I'm actually going to do physics because it gives me my first ranged unit and it also gives me some science to work with. An extra science building. Alright. Um, yeah, I'm not going to play the next turn. What turn am I? Actually, you know what? No. Just to keep it even, I'll go to turn 20. So it's going to be about a 20 minute video. That's not too, too bad. Hugh, 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 Hugh. Really, that was it? That was a fucking exciting turn 20. Pardon my language. We do have fruit down here. I didn't notice that. We did get it. But all right, I guess that's going to be the end of this video. Um, like I said in the last video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, or I should say like and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll be posting a couple of these today. And for the next couple days, I will be posting a lot of them just to get the content to you quickly since the game did just come out and I want people to have help. But uh, like and subscribe and then leave comments with any tips you have for people. Again, leave them, make them constructive, not insulting. And also with anything you might want to see involving this game, I will go back and fix the graphics thing. So no need to bitch about that. And I will save this and continue it. And hopefully this video will be posted today and the next few will be posted throughout the next couple days. So I will see you on our next venture.